Okay, hello boys. Today we're 1578. Let's go beat some people. How about that? Also, link down below if you want your games analyzed. I could make a custom video for you. What the fuck is this? <laughs> What's going on here? English opening. All right. Okay. I think I know. I think I know. I, yeah, I like to play. I like to play D5 here. Yeah, let's play D5. I don't know any theory, but you know, why not just fight for this square? Just makes sense. They usually take yeah. Usually see night developments, yep. And I think we just trade it here. But you know, that does open the lines for this, so something to watch out for. Anything else I wanna do? Do I really wanna take actually? Should I you see this is the this is why I said I have to pay attention to this diagonal because if I move this bishop to try to protect this, am I gonna fall for a tactic? This doesn't even need defending. What am I talking about? Anyway, I'm overthinking it, I'm just gonna take everything defended other than these rooks. I think we should get ready ready to castle here, get the bishop out. Yeah, let's get the bishop out here. So this bishop is hanging, so let's pay attention to that. There is a check here that I've completely missed, by the way. We need to be careful of that. A strange push. Is he fighting for this? Take, take. Okay, I see. I could just move back, though. No problem. No problem. No problemo. Yeah, let's castle. I do want to get the knight out, but I'm not sure if I'm happy with this take. Actually, now I think he's going to castle kingside. So if he does take, where, where else is he going to castle? I'm fine with him taking this. I don't care if my pawns are doubled. I get open file. And he doesn't have a light squared bishop for protection anymore. If he takes, this is going to be a bad move. Just thinking about it. All right. Pushes the pawn forward. For what purpose? I'm slightly confused. He could have castled. Wait, why did he push the pawn? I guess maybe he wants to prevent ideas of, like, me doubling up here. But then he's just never going to be able to castle then if he wants to hold on to that. I think I could just move up here. Let's just be careful, though. Again, no blunders. There's one hanging piece. Actually, two. But after this move, there'll be... There'll be only one. Yeah, I'm happy with this. Is he going to go for a, a kingside attack? I am intrigued. I don't really understand that move, but let's see what he's got. Obviously, we're looking to maximize the mobility of our pieces. One piece I'm not exactly happy with is this bishop, really. This knight, I mean, it's kind of... I don't even know what you call this position, open or closed. <laughs> but I think we could find a home for this bishop soon. Like, if I start pushing this up, I can't do it now, but if I can, then I could... Uh, like reroute the, the knight somehow and get to the square. If I was to try to reroute it, how would I actually get there? It's going to take an even number of moves because it's on the same color square. It's not going to be two moves. Oh, it can actually. One, two. Yeah, that, that does work. But if I was to do four, I mean, yeah, it's the same thing really. Back to the square. Anyways, I'm just chatting shit. <laughs> Let's see what he's going to do. We need to also look out for hanging pawns as well. I, had, I used to have this bad habit of just leaving pawns in the corner of the board and basically just losing to a one pawn advantage i feel like he's contemplating playing d4 because he's not castled yeah so he's just castled now so if i'm to play this i presume he's gonna push this pawn to stop me from taking and if he does do that i might have something here i really might yeah i'm gonna go for this idea i presume he's probably gonna push whoa he moves the king up now that that can't be a good idea man come on bro <laughs> <laughs> what what if i still go for this and like give up a pawn and keep pushing maybe take take or you could just take with the knight yeah that kind of kills the whole purpose interesting well like obviously i see like some ideas of bringing the bishop back here pushing this and now my bishop's active although i don't know how i'll be able to push this pawn without losing it okay you know what i'm just gonna focus on just controlling the center because uh, I've been focusing on not blundering lately, and they hap it's happening less often, the blunders part. I think I'm going to start thinking about being a bit more positional. I think I think we could play f5 here. Yeah, I think we could do that. Honestly, if he plays this, I'm actually not too concerned. I just move back, and I do actually have a nice diagonal now, and I don't have to worry about losing the pawn. Yeah, let's just play this. Yeah, he does play that. All right. There is a little out outpost for me here, though. I mean, the only right move is I take or I get forked, so <laughs> we're just gonna we're just going to take that. Oh, I'm getting forked anyway. Oh, no. Did I mess up? Oh, she. See? You leave one hanging piece and a fool for a tactic. Damn, that's an annoying way to lose. Okay, it's got to take them. Then I move and then I get forked, no? Oh, no, no, no. I have two pieces protecting. But no, he has two pieces. Yeah, I think this is gone. What if I take here? Take, take. I'm annoyed. Can I move somewhere that creates a threat? What if I play this so he can't take? And then... Because take that win a rook. I think that's the only counterplay I have. If he keeps pushing, I could take that, I think. If I do this, 
you could just move the queen, right? I mean, I, I don't know, because, <laughs> I mean, that's the only counterplay I have in my hand. So, let's see what he does. He could just move the queen, I think. He could just move up here. Oh, but can he? Then I have this. So, he goes for this. Is it discovering something? I don't think so. Can I move back here? Push, take. No, no, I can't move there, because that blocks my rook and my queen here. All right, I think this is a nice square. If I'm just going up here, that's not really targeting anything. It's not really targeting anything evil. It just gets attacked here. Or I could just move back. Well, no, no, no. Let's go back this way. This makes more sense. Cool. I think we just about survived that. Played that. Um, isn't this just a pawn? I'm going to take, I don't know. I f I, that just looks like a free pawn to me. Unless I'm missing a tactic. Is he going to... He can't play that because my knight's protected. But I was going to say maybe he's going for a checkmate. But even then I could put my bishop here. But yeah, brother here choked. <clears throat> I'm not going to lie. If he just moved his queen. Yeah, I would have just lost a piece there. <laughs> Okay, we've got the knight in the game. So right here, I don't know why I wouldn't take that. <laughs> let's be wary of what the knight's doing. This bishop is very powerful though. Anyways, let's get this trade off. That seems like only, the only right thing to do there. Now I've got to deal with this thing. Do I put my queen there for that? That's kind of forcing a trade. And get, I get my rook here. Maybe he attacks my rook. Let's see. Obviously, I see this as well, but I don't win this exchange. Luckily, he has two defenders there. If he had this bishop here, he would have been in trouble. Takes with king. All right, yeah, I do want to get a trade here. Actually, yeah, yeah, hold on. I thought I was going to double my pawns and ruin the structure in front of my king. But I could just take back of a rook here. So that might be a thing. Take here, take back if that does happen. Yeah, and then I'm trying to see if there's something here with the knight. If there's like a fork. Because I have a rook here as well. No, I think we're cool. Yeah, we got to get this trade off. Because this bishop is, is very scary. Alright, uh, trades this way. Already, alright, we take. Then we, I assume he's going to take this. Or going to go for a check. What does a check do there? Another rook in, to, in the game. kind of want to play this. Take, take. Or I could take and give him a file for no reason. <laughs> so I think we play this now. I literally have three on one on this side of the board as well. Yeah, let's go for this. And then possibly trade. Yeah, so he doesn't want to trade. Uh, we probably push this pawn to protect it. That does create a weakness on this square. But this knight's just going to move anyway, probably. I'm not really going to keep it there. Yeah, we, we just push. Okay. It's attacked. Defended once. Is there a way this rook could be attacked? I don't see it. But to be honest, I kind of want to move this knight anyway. But where are we moving it? Here? For for this? Maybe force a trade if the rook still stays there? Hmm. So how are we going to play this? You see, if I try to do this, obviously this hangs right away. So this is hanging. And this will be hanging if I move it here. Could also try double up, but I could just move this up here and it's protected. And this is going to be hard to get to because he has a pawn here, so he can't really attack it from this side. He has to come all the way around and like put a rook here or here to attack that. So I'm going to play this and this will be, yeah, and it could protect itself like this. And this is a pass pawn, by the way. I could probably try and march this forward. The thing about trying to promote pass pawns is if you start marching it too far forward and you're not creating some other threat on the other side of the board or something, you just lose the pawn. <laughs> Which is something I actually do. Uh, yeah, my end games do be lacking, but the main idea is you create a pass pawn, opponent tries to deal with it, and then you use your pieces that are free to just basically collect everything else. Random pawn push, forcing a trade, no? Take, take, and then we're attacking this too. Yeah, I'm gonna go for this. I'm happy with this trade. We we'll trade here, and then I'll push the C pawn to over here, and then I think I could actually help that. Yeah, I think I could promote that, no? What's he going for this? This, this. Can I keep going? Probably not, but I could get behind it. Hmm, wait, is he trying to double attack this? See, so yeah, if I push this, this, and and then what? <laughs> wait, I could get behind this, and he can't stop me. This, take, take. Surely that's not good. Then then I just, surely I just promote. I have to get my king into the game, right? All right, all right, I, I have a few ideas. One thing I lack as well is I don't get my king far in. So if I do this, this, trade. Because if I try to bring my other rook up, I undefend this, and I just straight up lose this. And I just let the rook in. So this, 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 this. And then should I get my king into the game? He pushes. Just keep moving. Take, take. And then his rook does enter. Hmm. What do I just go for? I go for this push and try to promote. Push up maybe. Take, take. And then get behind here like this. That does work. No? But then he brings his king in. And I'm kind of far away. And he comes here and he tries collecting this. I push. Gets in here. Am I overdoing it? I think I'm overthinking this. This? I could protect this way as well. I mean, let's just go for this. I'm being silly. 
yeah, I think I mean to uh, over analyzing there. That's a move. We trying to double up. What about this now? Now I can double up. What's he trying to do? Can't move here. Can't move here. Can move here. Maybe just about. Do I get my king up? Let's get the king up, right? Let's just let's just put the king. In, uh, let's try to get the king into the game. I do see this. This is tempting, but it is protected for now. Pushes. Take. Take. Yeah, wait up first. If he pushes, then we're cool. If he if he takes, then we can just take. Yeah, let's just move up. Protect this. If he pushes, whatever. I think yeah, he just tried blockading this. But if he pushes, he actually loses this now because I can just move there. So and he's kind of he has to. What if I was to take with the rook? I split my pawns and he wins this. So let's go here and then I could do something like this. I think. Okay, let's move the king up. I don't know if the king wants to do this. That would be kind of annoying because I want to do this. <laughs> If he goes there and I go here, I'll disconnect my rooks. And he could actually just take that. Okay. Wait, what? Rook here? For what reason? Completely blockading, blockading me. Okay, I could move here. Then what are you doing? Gonna move back and try double up probably, right? Up here. I just push. No, I can't. I'm pinned. This pawn will be pinned to my king. Hmm. End games are difficult. Should I move up here? No. I don't know what to do. I feel like I could do this and try to protect this way. I don't know how right that is. Oh boy. Moves back. I do see this, but he just protects this rook. Ah. All right, I'm going to play this because I see that this is like the only way I could hold on to the space because I'll, then I could possibly play this. And if he plays this, um, I could go here. And if he plays this, then I could come protect this. And then I have a passport, which he might, he might, have, a, he might have a tough time dealing with then. That's the idea I'm going to go for. Okay, he just pushes a pawn on, on the side of the board. I think we just take that. Or do I protect? Take, take. Nah, we would just take. Probably takes back. Or is he going to take back with the rook? But we just take, I think. Takes back with the rook, I could just protect this way. Yeah, just takes that way. That's fine. I think we could play this though. Just to stop any advances. Last thing I need is having this pawn come all the way into my face. And then I ha and I have nothing to do. Like nothing to stop it with. Check. I could play this. Which kind of still sticks to my idea. And then check here if it trades. I'm fine. I'm not. Sorry. <laughs> this check. Oh, he can't. He can't play that. He can't play that. This is pinned. Oh no. Oh, silly me. End games are gonna be the end of me, bro. <laughs> oh fuck's sake. Take. Uh, oh, I could just take this rook. All right here. If he takes, I just take this rook. And we keep our uh, double pass pawns. Yeah. We take him this way, and we try to march this up. Pins me. Where do I want to go? Here. Oh, he, he's also attacking this. So probably want to protect. Yeah, let's protect. We don't want to be dropping pawns. Tries to enter. I think he will actually. I did see this check. That does grab this though. If he check, he's going to come here. And then I could move here, I think. Attacking this rook. Wait, what if I move out attacking this rook right now? Doesn't do much. Let's let's throw this check in. Let's see. Obviously still can't play this. All right, just gives me a pawn. Um, I'll happily take that. That's another pass pawn. Okay, this pawn's moving forward. This one is passed. So let's be careful. There's this. Now, do I want to go grabbing pawns or do I want to advance? All right. We're going to go push. There's this. Yeah. Check. Take. Up. Take. Up. No, he can stop me. We can move here though, no? All right. Yeah, let's move here. He's going to try probably advance this. So we take. No, we just advance. Why are we taking? Because if I take, I let his uh, king in here. Or oh, is he going to consider doing this? Then I'll just take that. I could still lose this, you know? He's got... A path here. I got a, kind of a path here. Man, I haven't had a good end game in ages though. This this is gonna be a nice lesson for me. Oh, does he win that race? Shit. Cause he's comes with a check. If you if you promotes on this square. Let's say plays this. I try take. Push. Oh wait, I could advance this. Push. This. This. I promote. He does still promotes a check. Hmm. Pushes like that. I might have to get ready for a sacrifice. I think we just push this uh, past pawn. I'm going to pu push this past pawn. He's going to push this. I'm going to get behind it. No. Wait, we keep pushing. He pushes. And then I get behind it. He takes. He can't, he can't take because then I'll just take this. So let's keep pushing. He's going to go here. I could get behind this. Yeah. Oh, but then he could do this. No. Check. Take. Push. 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 Again, promotive check. What if I keep pushing? Pushes. And then I play this. Blocks. Oh, shit. Okay, I might have an idea here. I haven't just vocalized it, but I think I might have a crazy idea. That, but I push. <laughs> hear me out, hear me out. If takes, promote, pushes, or oh, no way. Push, take, promote, yeah. And then what's he going to do? 
if he tries advancing this, there's a check here, and then I collect it. And then what, is he gonna come down here? I could sack the queen as well. This is highly risky. <laughs> Take, promote, push. He's not gonna push. How could he stop me from doing something here? He's gonna come back and he's, I'm pushing bro. Hey man, <laughs> he just takes, I promote. If he's not careful, oh, he's not careful. <laughs> he's not careful, not careful at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thanks. That's it, man, it's over. I'm gonna have like three queens now. He really didn't see that one coming out. Uh, can we just sack here actually? Yeah, he's not reaching that, bro. No chance. And then we just push this, resigns. No blunders apparently, wow. I am happy with that game. That took a lot of concentration though. <laughs> Played with 84% accuracy. Okay, no, apparently I did make a blunder. All right. That game was just pure end game, honestly. For a game that was like that long and involved, involved so much of an end game, I'm happy with just blundering once. <laughs> All right, I have a 37% win rate with this open, apparently. Maybe something to look into. Okay, F5 was an inaccuracy. Thought I was being clever here. What's the best move? Oh, I didn't even consider that. Whoa. What the fuck? Yeah, that locks his position up crazy. Yeah, I should have. I didn't even consider that. Wow. Take him as a mistake. Yeah, I did not see this fork idea. Oh, he just wants to double up right away. Yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't see it. I only saw it after I took it. Anyway, it takes. I tried to save myself. Yeah, I mean, this looks like it's going to go to an end game anyway. And, and this is a mistake. What? And that's what ended up happening. Does it want me to trade? Yeah. Because I'm up a pawn, I'm assuming. And it does look like an end game setup. So it probably wants me to simplify and take the game to the end game. Take. Whoa, damn. It really wants to trade everything off. Sacrifice. Bro, what's the engine on? <laughs> no, no human's going to play that shit. <laughs> Why would you play that? Anyways, what I was going to say is here I would have played this, which engine isn't really liking. Because <laughs> you could just avoid the trade. Yeah. And hit my rook. Anyway, this was a scenario. It was a little mistake here. Opponent trades for me anyway. And then yeah, now we go in game. Is that a mistake? What? Oh, bring the king in. Yep. I'm too slow with the king. I, I really don't consider what to do with the king. And a lot of the times the opponent's king is like in the center. If I didn't really have a good setup and like a good uh material advantage, like one pawn up, I feel like I would have probably lost the end game again because I don't centralize my king. Also, this knight stops the king from actually getting in the game. So maybe should have got my king in the game and only trade after I've centralized my king. Take mistake. What was it this? Wow, it was actually that. I spent so long considering that move. This, I said this, this. Hmm, I guess simplified down, right? Because I am up a pawn. I have a pass pawn here and then I could get my king in. I march it forward. Pawn and moved here up. I'll, I'll probably analyze this properly because this is like the only end game I had in ages where I could actually think. So this was a good move. Here I spent very long. What was the best move? No, not for you, bro. For me. Just move here. Hmm. I felt like I overthought that for so long. But I was worried about this than this. If he played this, what was I going to do? Yeah, what am I going to do if he, if he plays this move? This, oh, man. Come on, bro. I could protect this way. Ugh. If he does this, I just go here. Yeah. Take. Yep. Got checked there. It's a, it's a blunder. I, yeah, I blundered there. I don't know why. I didn't see he can do this check because this is pinned after I move up. I don't know. The engine's taking forever, but the best move is this. I assume to come up here and attack this rook and try to kick the rook off in front of this pawn so I could start marching it. Yeah, that was a good move. Miss. What was he meant to do? What was he meant to do here? Oh, yeah. Take, take, and then take. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he was meant to do. Let's see the engine. Yeah, b6. Unlucky, man. This is why you don't blitz out moves in, in an endgame. So I protect this pawn. A few inaccuracies there. Yeah, you just gave up a pawn there. I'm just marching. This, this, this. Are you going to give me a brilliant move? Come on. Best move. Come on, man. You got to give me a brilliant there. <laughs> Come on, man. Take, promote, and he just messes this up completely. He doesn't even try to protect the pass pawn. But the thing is, I had a check here, and I feel like I could actually somehow, somehow get a trade off. Like what, what what could he have done here instead of this pawn push? E3, yeah, protecting. Then what do I do? H4. And he's coming here for what? Oh, preventing this check. So he comes here. H3 check. Oh, it was it was actually going to be a very difficult endgame. Wow, it was going to be a very tricky endgame. I could have ended up losing that. 
the, the lines they're suggesting is basically just check the king around until like you force it away from the pawn and I find that those um, games have been one of, one of the most difficult to play where you have to find accurate checks with the queen and like force the rook away from the king and then eventually pick up the pawn and then promote your pawn that's basically the idea here I could have lost that if you just paid if you just paid attention for a bit but you didn't check check and set the, set the queen and just promote Alright, thanks for watching. Subscribe and I'll see you here tomorrow.